Okay, well, well, good morning, or I guess it's just afternoon now. Um, again, my name is BJ Kowalski. I'm the president of Rowe Dental Laboratory. Um, I understand from Alan that we wanted to give you some information on digital dentures and our digi-denture process uh, and how we do these. Um, this is definitely, um, you know, change is, is in the winds for dentures. Um, there's a lot of really great demographics about how many patients are going to receive uh, need dentures in the future. Um, the denture technicians are retiring. Um, it's being more and more difficult to find, you know, good talent and dentures are becoming more expensive. With the advent of technology, we can um, create a denture um, economically of a high quality and a high precision and in a, in a different, in different way that, that might be interesting for you guys at the school. Um, we're definitely excited about it. We have done, um, we started doing these cases on our, on our largest, most sophisticated cases, which are basically full arch, all on four type uh, restorations, getting them all digital records. So we'd put in four or five implants, we'd, uh, we'd extract bone, we would um, uh, place an immediate load prosthetic, and these cases would be consistently excellent time and time again. The teeth were always in the right position. Because we had such good success, we kind of sat back and said, boy, if we can have this super sophisticated case, go so well each and every time, why don't we do this for our single dentures? So we started doing it with, with immediate dentures. Um, now we're starting to do it with economy dentures. Um, and I can explain why in the, in the course of my presentation. So, you know, we have a product and I'll, I'll show you this at the end, a little more detail called um, DigiDent, which is an immediate load. Um, I'm sorry, is, it a, is, a, is a fully digital denture. And I'll go through the processes, how it's kind of unique and, and different but it basically um, we think can provide a very accurate tooth position in a very, um, um, uh, very quickly and um, of a very high quality. And there's some things changing in the future. So these are, these are to make no mistake, these are printed dentures. We can actually mill uh, full arch dentures as well. And that's how we started doing digital dentures, but most of them now are, are printed. The advantages of printing are basically efficiency. Uh, it can be a lot more efficient. It's a lot more, cost efficient and a lot quicker timeline to, um, to mill uh, dental prosthetics than, um, than to uh, print them rather than to mill them. So I know we don't have too much time, so I'll, I'll jump right into it. Um, the, the big benefit of digital dentures without question and why this works is it's, it's software and the algorithms that create these, um, how it places teeth, places them in a much higher, consistently in a much higher uh, level than, um, than we can do by hand. And mainly because we just have more tools at our disposal, primarily that the patient's face. All of the cases that we do, we um, when we set the denture case up, we are we mandate that we must have a picture very similar of this of the patient's face. And when we do the denture setup, yes, we're we're doing it in a in a digital articulator, and we're marking all the anatomical features and the rectal molar pads and hemial notches, and you know finding the, the midline um, based on anatomical landmarks. Um, but when these teeth are being set, we are always setting the, the teeth in the patient's facial composition. So that's why we have such great consistent success. You know, it's, it's hard to have the midline off by a tooth when you have the patient's face that you're working on. And then when you, you can literally move a tooth in here, if I wanna raise this lateral up slightly, I could raise it just by grabbing it and moving it up and know exactly what I'm doing and toggle the patient's face on back and forth. So all of these, you know, uh, you know interpupillary line, you know, uh, incisal length, um, you know, the corners of the patient's mouth, um, you know, make sure we, we follow the intervermilion border of the patient's lip. All of these features are available at our discretion uh, when we're setting the case. And we're not looking at a picture and then looking at an articulator and hoping we're doing the right thing. We're actually moving it, you know, in the patient's face. And I think that's the biggest difference that makes digital dentures work, you know, combined with the software. So for like an immediate case, it's, it's um, you know, it's, it's almost hard, hard to mess up. So a case like this is going to be an immediate denture. We, um, we bring in the patient's pace. We're, we're designing the case. We're moving it back and forth. We can see the denture, where the patient's teeth were, where we want to place them. And we're, you know, we're literally setting these teeth in the patient's facial composition. And it gets, you know, I think uh, consistently, you know, kind of a great result of what we're looking for. Um, so after we you know how the process goes, after we have a digital design and we have several softwares we use, we mostly use 3Shape for a digital design, but we can also use ExoCAD. Um, the, uh, we use that for more of our full implant foreign prosthetics at this point. 
Um, there's also some some free software where you can go online and, and basically set dentures, you know, at no charge, but those are clearly the way more sophisticated than others. So a traditional simple workflow uh, for digit for regular dentures was we pour a model, we trim the models, we articulate it, we wax it, um, we uh, uh, we set the teeth up, uh, we get it flasked or invested, and then after that we remove the wax, we the, the, you know the teeth are boiled off, we inject it, and then we deflask it, finish it. You know this process is a little bit more simple. Um, we digitize your models, so we need um, you know upper and, and lower models. Uh, if the patient is a dentalist, or if there's any question about the bite, we need a bite rim of where uh, of the of the patient's articulation where we're going to put the teeth. We'd love to have a picture of the bite limb in the patient's mouth. In addition, if they're an immediate case, so we can see how that just like um, on an immediate where we're we're setting it around the patient's teeth. Now we have that bite rim in the, in our hands. We can see the lines that you drew, uh, put it in proportion. We can see the um the patient's face and how those those work into their facial composition and start our process at that point we um we we after the design work we print and finish um at the case which is a very simple economical process and i'll i'll go through that real quick we also do something with digital dentures that's um it, it, it we we kind of came up with um uh and i think alan was influential in this um is normally dentures are used to having a reset so we do an initial setup, and if the case um, it comes in wax with with loose denture teeth, and if the case is perfect, you send it back to the lab and say, "Finish my our denture case." Well, with the digital process, there are two avenues we can go. We can send you an all white kind of a monolithic colored denture, and have you try it in and adjust the occlusion and add on to it, and um, you know adjust it how it how just how you want it, and send it back to finish. But if that case was perfect, um, you'd send it back for us to basically reprint in different colors and go forward with it. The cost of printing it in a kind of a monolithic try-in and printing it in a finished prosthetic is, is kind of negligible. So what we do at, at Row is at the first setup, you're getting finished dentures, finished printed dentures. Um, and you get that at a lower economical price. If they work for the patient, um, which that's great if they do, I don't think you should count on it. Um, then you you just saved your your finish appointment and every you're happy the patient's happy you save chair time you get a lower fee if we have to do some changes take out your burr adjust those teeth down to uh, you know to close the bite down or or open them up with another bite take a sharpie marker draw on it tell us anything you want again resubmit it with with photograph of the dentures in the patient's mouth and we'll redo it and we'll basically charge a, a almost like a reset and finish fee um, and I'll go over the pricing at the end. So it's a way to basically uh, save your finish appointment if everything goes well. Um, and at the worst case scenario, you have a you know a, maybe a, a backup a, a denture that you could use if it was close. So um, you know the properties of, of, of um, these printed dentures um, is in flux. There are currently some new materials out. A dent supply. Uh, Carbon has come out with a new material that's supposed to be stronger than Lucitone 199. Um, in fact, uh, this week, uh, four of us here are going to the IDT Digital Denture Symposium um, in Atlanta. They move cities every year. I'm one of the, the speakers there. Um, that's getting released at that meeting. Uh, the people from the company uh, are going to be in our, our laboratory. I think uh, next week they're coming up to visit us where we might switch over to this. Um, but currently, all the materials for digital dentures are um, are FDA approved for long-term use. Um, they um, have a lot of statistics about, you know, that their, their flexural strength is acceptable. Um, there's several brands of materials uh, on the market um, that the, the teeth, the material does not stain as, in, as much as uh, in, any really more than other uh, restorations. Um, they also have, uh, the, you know, the clinical results of them have been, um, I'm sure there's, there's some new studies that are Ongoing now, but at the time I got this study a year ago, it showed about just the uh, you know, number of successful denture cases out of 471. Five of them, well, over one percent worked. Um, you know, our biggest challenge with with the, the printed dentures to date has been um, they're a little more fragile than regular um, monomer-based acrylic. Um, as this new material gets released, they, which I say, it's stronger than regular based acrylic. We're pretty excited about that because the only real hang-up was them with them was. Um, we had a little challenge with um, maybe converting them for an all-on-four case 
or um, the, the material being a little bit more fragile, even though it passes every standard to be um, work clinically. Um, uh, we felt in our own hands it was not quite as strong, um, but I think that's changing in the next in the next uh, few weeks. Um, that being said, we've done you know thousands of printed immediate load uh, dentures, backup dentures, economy dentures with this technique. Uh, there's multiple shades that we can pick for digital dentures. There's multiple teeth shades as well. So basically, after we uh, find the denture. Um, uh, create the digital design of the denture with the software. We nest it in, in um, which creates this little scaffolding for it um, in the software, and then it gets it's printed. Um, after it's printed, this really just peels right off of there. Um, this is a picture of the carbon. I think I have a little video of it. Um, and then at the same time, we're printing the denture teeth. And this is um, this is one system carbon. This is another one called uh, Colzer that we were doing in our testing. You can see there kind of engage the denture and the scaffolding's a little bit different. Um, let's see here. So this is just going through how the how the process works, that they're attached to the top. There's a, uh, there's a um, UV light and oxygen uh, permeable layer down there. Um, and there's the vat of liquid resin. And when they, this, uh, the denture is exposed up from that resin, it, it solidifies and cures with a UV light coming from underneath. Um, and then creates a, the supports that you saw here, and then the printed parts get supporting. This is a little, just kind of a time-lapse video of, um, of the, how the printing process works, if you're curious, just a few seconds. Um, it is quite fast. Um, we print denture bases in about 45 minutes, um, you know, the teeth in less than that. Uh, the, you know, because opposed to milling, you know, milling a full arch denture would take many hours. And the tooling costs are, are more because you're milling a hard subject. There's really no loss of waste here. As you can see, this is just growing up a, uh, an, an object that's growing kind of out of this vat of liquid. Uh, I think if I remember right, this is like the Eiffel Tower or something like that. But it just gradually pulls um, it out of the liquid. And when it's finished, it is uh, you know 90% cured. It does have a post-curing post process, but it's definitely hard and you know unmovable. Um, so that's kind of how the, the process works with this material. So, and then we, we clean off the resin, we remove the, uh, you know, the scaffolding from it real quickly. Um, as I said, you, you heard the sound there, it is, it is hard, it's finished at that point mostly, but it needs to go in a, an alcohol curing uh, solution through a process, and those are the teeth that goes with it. Um, so cleaned uh, through a, a process, putting it in an uh, isopropyl alcohol bath and, and getting out any kind of uncured resin that goes in there. And at that point, we uh, you know, remove those attachments. Sorry, the video is kind of flaking out on us. It's very simple and fun to break those off. I'm not even sure why people get paid to do that because it looks like it's really fun. Um, and then we basically, right out of the, out of the gate, those teeth fit right into those bases. Probably oh, they're getting cured in these in this uh, you know curing unit again after the the, free, the the loose liquid has come off. Then we get to use the same resin. We don't glue the teeth in we use the same resin that was cured that cured both the object to insert the teeth in and that is what attaches the printed teeth back into the prosthetic. And they literally just slide in like a puzzle. And lock into place, and then we cure it at that point. Um, you know, to get uh, this are these are uncured. So you can see those little scaffolding, you know, that are holding onto the border. Um, we do most of the saw denture software. It does allow us to have uh, post dams in it, although uh, more and more um, the post dams uh, might not be as necessary as this technology in, in goes on because the fit is so much better than curing because there is no loss of um, you know curing uh, processing air in it. And uh, you know a clinical result of a you know a digi denture kind of kind of placed for all practical purposes you can't tell the difference from a, a regular denture uh, you know in the patient's mouth you know the teeth really are they're they're a monolithic teeth they they aren't quite the, as beautiful as conventional um, you know high high class denture teeth I'd say they'd be more like an economy tooth looking um, so it's, it's uh, so there is a little bit different in the aesthetic of the teeth because it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's a single printed unit where denture teeth, they bake on several layers of material. I think they're very kind of acceptable. 
in, in their aesthetics for what it is, is a really an economy type denture. So, um, no, this is kind of a, a picture of one. So you have, you know, the printed teeth that we use. Um, the Colzer molds are our favorite. Um, it's nice because we have, you know, uh, we have them all in all three of our design softwares. We have, um, we have them that fit right into here. We could actually put a, you know, if you wanted to use regular denture, teeth we can not use the printed teeth for an additional fee and actually fit the denture teeth in because they're a digital denture tooth meaning that each tooth is exactly the same as the next and there's no different processing differences between it uh, so you know this is effectively what they what they look like so appointment one you submit casts and a bite or casts and a bite block um, and at that point we do the digital design um, we send you a finished digital design, um, a fin finished uh, denture. We're happy to obviously send you screenshot images if you'd like to review it ahead of time to make sure it's what you want. Um, if it doesn't work and it needs some changes, we'll reset it again and send you another set, um, which is what we call a reverse reset.